Welcome to the video. In this remote control quick tip, we're going to be playing with this little board here. This is a Skyline 32 and has been sent to me by one of my friends in the States because one of the problems has been trying to get it to work with a D-class receiver to send FR Sky telemetry. So I've just been playing with this and finally figured it out. So I'm making a video so if anyone else is stuck, they can see how I got it sorted. Hopefully this process will work for you as well. Now the key things here in the wiring is we have channel one plugged into the D4R2 using PPM and we're using pin six, uh, if I just let's show you on here, connected to the telemetry pin or the receive pin, which is this little green one here. That's the way we're going to connect it up because we're going to use soft serial to get the telemetry to work. So that green pin uh, is going to connect to channel six and go all the way back through the connector through to the D4R2 and connect on to the receive pin. And that's the way we need to have it. So let me fire uh, up everything and let's talk about what I had to do to get this going. Now, interestingly, you will have to actually power the flight control board because we need the receiver working. So you're gonna have to plug a BEC into PWM1. So once I've got all the cabling done, the first thing I did was actually started to set up the board in exactly the same way as I've done in the NASA 32 video that we did in the NASA 32 playlist a couple of months ago. So I went in, I configured it for PPM, I then enabled soft serial, went and configured the soft serial port 1 for FR Sky Telemetry with auto, and then went into the CLI, the command line interface, and set telemetry inversion to one and had a look. Now I did connect my oscilloscope to the channel output to see if there was actually a signal being pumped out of pin six just to see whether or not that was part of the problem or whether something else was going on. Now disappointingly even though the oscilloscope was buzzing away and I could actually see a signal coming down I couldn't get anything on the Tirana screen or the only thing I could see for the telemetry was actually the RSSI information which is there by default being sent back from the receiver. So then I spent a bit of time trying to work through and trying to figure out what the problem was. So I went and retried the FR Sky inversion, so set telemetry inversion equals zero again, see if that was the change, saw on the oscilloscope the positive and negative lines switch over, so the signal was actually inverted, so I knew that was working, and I also knew I was looking at the right line. I also then tried every alternative board rate, which was 9600 and 19200, which is probably the maximum that you can run a board like this at on soft serial, and nothing made a difference. Popping it back to auto, the signal appeared to be still running at about 19200 board. So that point I decided that actually we were on a bit of a hiding to nothing because there wasn't that more could actually change. So I decided to try an older version of clean flight because in my trawling of the forums and websites other people had mentioned that they had more luck with older versions of clean flight. So particularly 1.81 was mentioned. So what I did is I pulled the board back out, disconnected everything, popped it back up to clean flight, selected version 1.81 of the firmware for NASA 32 and flashed that. Once that was all on, I did the same thing again, went through, set up PPM, set up soft serial, enabled telemetry, then set the FR Sky inversion or the telemetry inversion to be one. And there I could see the data on the oscilloscope again beautifully. But this time when I looked up and look on the screen of the Tyrannus, there is all of the data. Fantastic, it's working. Now, I haven't done anything to the hardware. All I've done is change the version of clean flight. Now at this point I thought right I've cracked it. So that's the answer to everybody. I just need to say to everybody if you want telemetry on this board until it's fixed in the code then your best bets are using 1.81 of clean flight. Then out of interest I thought let's just put it back to 1.10 because I like as tests just to make sure that I can break it after I fixed it then I know I've absolutely got hold of the right part. So then we went back and I reflashed it with clean flight 1.10. Again, set up PPM, soft serial, telemetry, telemetry inversion equals one. And blow me, the telemetry was still working on the radio. So now I'm back at 1.10, which is where we started the journey, but now everything is working. 
So what appears to be happening here is there's something going on in the clean flight code. I don't know what it is. I'm not a programmer. But I would suggest that if you're trying to get your Skyline 32 to work with telemetry, hook it up in the way that we've shown at the beginning of the video. If you're not sure about the individual steps, go and have a look at that in the NASA 32 setup video. The clean flight settings are identical on this board as on the NASA 32. So I'd put 1.81 of clean flight on first, go through and set up each of those steps. And then once it's working, if you're happy with clean flight 1.81, brilliant stop there if you're a bit of a purist and you like to have covered all your bases then by all means you can try and put clean flight 1.101 and obviously something's happened in a register or deep down in the board that 1.10 being flashed onto it isn't clearing but is making a difference and getting it working so hopefully that helps those of you that have the Skyline board and you have been scratching your head with telemetry. This is more of a workaround than a fix, but at least you can get it all working now and you have a process to follow. Hopefully it's going to work for you as well as it did for me. And fingers crossed that this gets fixed in the clean flight code so it's more robust in future. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.